Hey. How's it going? Uh, poorly. Woo! Sure is windy out here! How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I am doing a little bit of ice camping with the Dustin Wolf and BW Films, Luke Cornier. And am I already regretting this trip? Yes, the car ride was brutal. Hey, at least he didn't roll this time. Stamp slide speed! So yeah, that's pretty much how my whole day has been going so far. But we just got out on the ice. We are in the stereotypical Minnesota place to catch early ice walleyes. We're at Red Lake. You guys guessed it right. And uh, we got out here a little bit late, so I didn't get to film any of that process. Our good buddy Corbin over at First City drove us out here. Huge shout out to him. And uh, he dropped us out out here. We're going to do some ice fishing. We got all set up, and we're sitting in about 12 feet of water just off of a rock pile. And uh, hopefully, we're going to get in some fish tonight. There are also maybe a couple more special guests uh, coming on this video or videos to come. We're going to be up here for about three days and uh, gonna be filming a bunch of content for you guys. Tonight, we're starting out in the Eskimo hub that you guys have seen us in before that we usually ice camp in, it's Dustin's. And tomorrow, we're gonna be switching over to a sleeper shack, which is really exciting because that's gonna be the first sleeper shack video of the year. Uh, it's the very first time anybody's bringing out sleeper shacks to Red Lake as well, uh, which I'll show you guys all of that uh, tomorrow. But for those of you that have not seen our camping setup before, this is it, all right? We got two holes up here. We got the 20 pounder outside, nice little heater, the live scope, and then minnows right here. You turn around, obviously you got the floor mats, which is huge major key to doing a little bit of ice camping. Uh, cot right there, Luke Cornier back there, and uh, he's got a little hole to do some jigging. We got my lights and the Jackery, so we'll have power all night for charging things and keeping those going. And then this is my bed right yonder. And then we just got some mega footlongs right there that we're going to dive to in later this video. Hey, yo, quit looking at my footlong. But I am going to start fishing here. We're going to see if we can catch some fish. I've been seeing some videos out here, and it looks like people have been catching fish. But, you know, I haven't had the greatest luck lately. Hopefully that changes tonight. It won't. It won't. Don't worry, John. They ain't coming anywhere near here. Get on now. Get don't, on. Don't come by us. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Why is you actually whispering? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay, he's got it. Hey. Hey. How to let that. Oh. How to let that See one See ya. Go. Don't come back. Had to let that one marinate, eh, bud? That was lit, boys. That was lit. But in all reality, that sucked. That was the first mark that we've seen in a while. Six it months. seems like we mark them every, eh, every half hour, boys, probably. It's been 20 oh, minutes. 20, all right, every 20 minutes, a little mark comes rolling in. I put a uh, full minnow head, or a full minnow on a dinner bell and just let it sit there, kind of like a dead stick. And uh, I felt him chomp it, let him eat it a little bit longer. Uh, beans that it is a full minnow and uh, must have 
not waited long enough, apparently. Yeah, it's about 17 inches. Then this must be 15. Well, little update. It's been a little bit slow, but we just actually marked three fish, so that's cool. Um, anyways, oh, cool. I'm about to dive into this mega sub here. I wonder if it says how long it is. It was $7 at Wally World. I mean, this thing's actually just massive. Gonna go in for a little bite here. It's a little Supreme sub. Now he's gonna deep throw it at first. Move it up. It's actually pretty good. Down the freaking hatch. I'm gonna sit here with my 17 inch sub and uh, wait for some more fish to roll by. This is dinner tonight. We knew we needed to pack a little bit light because we were getting dragged out here. So we couldn't really bring Luke's Blackstone or a stove. We wanted to conserve some space. So I promise eventually in an ice camping video we're, we're gonna make something cool. But for right now, subs will have to do. I miss you, Allie Waller. Hey. We tight. Dang, boy. We tight. Lines tight, boys. Woo! We did it. Dude, that only took four hours. Or five. We did it. Hey, no. Ah! 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 Holy cow, that thing's almost big enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Should we kill it? Nope. Maybe. Finally. I ain't stupid. I'm dumb. <laughs> no, I'm stupid. No. Dumb. No, I'm dumb. You're dumber. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> He's chasing it hard. Hey. Hey, that's not a bad one. Ooh, I hooked my back. I hooked my back. <laughs> <laughs> nice, brother. Why, is he good or what's wrong with him? Hey, that night bite. Woo! Right on, brother. Woo! If fish could scream, he's screaming right now. Look at him. Woo! Hang on, I gotta get a video and let everyone know that we're hammering on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just caught that one, and then we had another one come in, pretty suspended, and My Dustin ended up getting that one. So, uh, yeah, we're going pretty crazy in here right now, Bow if you guys one. can't tell. Uh, the lack Bow of fish catching one. is uh, definitely getting to our heads, <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun right now. Oh, cameraman. Oh. I got him. What is this uh, posture? Right I'm oh, doing the Superman, bro. Ah! Bro, his feet are ah! up. I <laughs> I'm going to lose this thing, bro. Oh, God. Hang on, God. Let, me, God. let me assist you. Hang on. Hey, uh, thanks, bud. Well, there we go. Just a little guy. Perfect eater. This is probably like a, I don't know, 16, 17 incher. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to get him back. Maybe. Oh. There he goes. So what, what's been working for us is, like I said, the dead sticks with the full minnow. And they'll come trolling in. And then all you do is just give it like a centimeter of an inch of a lift. And they'll come look at it, nose up, just look at it for a while. They're either going to nail it right away or that one. It took a little bit of convincing, but there we go. My second fish. The snipe bite starting to do better than when it was earlier. It's 11.38, so we love that. <laughs> How are you going to reel? I don't know. <laughs> he just throws the bag of chips at me. It's oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, this thing. I seen this one before. <laughs> He's on. It was Doritos, boys. I don't. Oh, nice fish. Oh. 
There he goes. Quick release. Oh, he's not going to be able to get down. Damn. Is he down? Get up here. Good boy. Oh, oh good. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. These cheesy Dorito hands. I'm a little gremlin. Nice little walleye here. A little 17-inch. Uh, little 17. Ooh. See ya, bucko. Thanks for the assist on that, Dustin. Absolutely, dude. Snatched him. Hey, thanks, fellow Al brother. All right, guys. Current time check, 12.58 in the morning. And uh, as you guys saw, I caught that fish right there. It's kind of awkward. I was eating Doritos. He came in out of nowhere. And I did the old Superman reel up, and uh, Dustin had to assist me on that land job. But I think right now, uh, the night actually started to pick up a little bit uh as it went on a little bit later so that was good right away at like prime time what we thought was prime time was a little bit slow but we ended up getting some fish i caught three dustin how many did you catch two i got two you got two landed two and then you've landed one so you know not not a bad night so far but i think right now it is freezing outside and the boys are a little cold we only have one heater in here i think we're gonna move this heater kind of where you guys are right now and then try to get some sleep. We would have the rattle reels down, but since we only have one heater, I don't think the holes are going to stay open tonight and our lines would just get tangled in there. And then in the morning, we'd have to cut them and try to figure that whole thing out. So that would be a mess. Uh, so I think we're just going to have Luke's line alarm down right yonder and uh, might have to film some of that if some craziness happens. But we are going to tuck in and hopefully not die tonight because it's so cold out. And see you guys tomorrow morning. The next morning. <laughs> oh goodness gracious guys it is the next morning we survived the night last night it was kind of cold outside to be honest with you guys didn't get much sleeping in but we made it through the night we caught one fish off camera we we're all too tired it was like 4 a.m luke's line alarm went off and uh we decided not to film it but check it out. It kind of turned out to be a beautiful day so far. We got the beautiful old Eskimo. And yeah, just Red Lake, man. Look at it. Nice and pretty. They're even starting to put the sleeper shacks out right there, as you can see. And I believe we're actually going to be staying in one of those. So I believe the plan is right now, fishing's been really slow this morning. Haven't really seen a lot. So I'm thinking we're going to not do much filming right now. Uh, we're going to kind of pack up this shelter right here and then get a ride in and then get a ride back out. And we're going to switch houses because no being that it was so cold, Chaz from First City Guide Service is going to be hooking it up. And we're going to go in one of his four mans that they're just starting to bring out. Today's like the very first day that they're bringing out these sleeper shacks. And uh, Chaz was nice enough to let us go in one. So if you guys want to check out First City Guide Service, they'll be linked down below. Uh, they do a lot of stuff out here on Red Lake, Minnesota, as well as Lake of the Woods and and some other places as well but uh, they'll be linked down below but we're going to pack this up and I'll see you guys in our new and improved ice house moments later oh alrighty guys well we just got set up in the old sleeper shack and again first city guide service set this up so they'll be linked down below but check it out we have the lovely ice shack right here all right this is a four-man trophy hunter and I think I've actually stayed in this exact same one maybe last year or something, but we basically just dragged all of our other ice camping stuff over here and uh, we're starting to get set up in there. But if we go inside of the house here, I'll give you a little tour. So you open this bad boy up. What the Sam hell are you doing here? I got dragged in and I'm not leaving. Yeah, it's too nice in here, <laughs> isn't so it? It's so nice in here. This is so nice. Well, for those of you guys that don't know, this is Mr. AP Bassin. Yes, he's he's still uh, still alive, and he's making YouTube videos. It looks like so. Uh, this thing is permanently mounted on my chest all the time. Right on. <laughs> I pay for that content. Uh, yeah. But this is the format I was telling you guys about. Luke and I are over here. Uh, we got a bunk over there. This can be a table, but we laid it down to make it into just a big bed. Four holes right here. We got a rattle reel, and then Dustin's over here in the the little corner. And uh, it looks good. Alex said he was going to sleep in the spare bedroom. Oh, yeah. This is Alex's bedroom for the night if he gets too cold. It also sounds like someone just rolled oh, up. Who, who could that be? We're not leaving. How do you feel? Oh, Come inside. 
Hey, what up, bucko? Come inside. I did not have the pro. Yeah, can't even talk. I did not have the appropriate gear to go snowmobiling. <laughs> you These look glasses, a little cold. <laughs> those were a lifesaver. Oh God. Oh yeah, there's Perk's snowmobile that they ripped in on. That's Chris right there. If you guys don't know who Chris is, uh, he's basically like an OG for those of you guys that do know him. He fished with John and Perk back in the day. But um, yeah, I mean, both those guys will be linked down below if you wanna check them out. But the plan is right now, we're gonna be doing some fishing in here. And then I be I believe Perrick might, I don't know what Perrick's doing. Perrick's gonna do Perrick things. He might fish right here next to us in his house. He might send it to center bar and fish out there. Or he might fish inside this tiny house with us. We're gonna pack like six deep in there. So that'd be kind of funny. But I have no clue what the plan is right now. However, we're gonna get more situated and uh, get to fishing. So you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, get that pizza in there, boy. Mm. Mm. Is this recording? Oh yeah. Shout out, Luke Cornier. Mmm. Mmm. Love me some Jack pizza. Mmm. Well, Perrick and Chris just left. They went to go bomb out the center bar and see if they catch anything. Uh, Luke and myself and Dustin are still in here. We popped in a pizza and uh, we're eating. We haven't ate much in this video, just that sub you guys saw, and that's pretty much been it. So. This pizza is definitely hitting. I think we're gonna make a couple more. Uh, I'm gonna set up the camera stuff and see if we can catch some fish. From what I've been hearing and from what we've been seeing, a lot of these fish have only been active either early in the morning or late at night or right at sunset. So we're just gonna sit here and see if we can make something happen. But you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch some fish. You clapping or what? Um, no, we have yet to put one on the ice yet. Same here, brother. Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got one. That's sick. That's sick. Hey, that's sick. I gotta go. You're lying. Boy. Well, little update. We've just been sitting here uh, eating pizzas. Haven't really marked any fish. Perrick just called me to get a little update. He's like, haven't caught anything. Oh, I got one. I'm like, what? So I guess he has one. But yeah, I know it's definitely been slow, but the pizza's been hot at least. Oh, don't you just love being the cameraman, setting up a camera when a rattle reel's going off? Are you good, bro? Oh. What? Bro, I, I like lift it up and he's like still like ticking it. Like he was like chopping it. Is that a fish on you? What? What the Sam Hill? Are you on? Yeah. Oh god. Wait, what? Boy. Look at that. Caught a little fish right there. That was super funny. This was going off. I was setting up the camera. And uh, yeah, not good. And then all of a sudden, Luke turns on the live scope. He's got a fish on my rod. So 15 and three we'll take quarter. him like that. 15 and three quarter. There we go. If you want to keep that, that's not a bad one to keep. But not keep. yeah, not keeping it. Well, because because you're so confident, we're gonna catch more. Right? Oh yeah, it's heating up. Ask hey, Dustin. Right. On. Dustin loves Red Lake. He's right back there. Do you love Red Lake, Dustin? Wow. Well, hey, I think I think you need this, Chris. Oh. Do I need it? Quick. Like, these boys just come oh rolling God. in. We'll they got, like, soup yeah. laying everywhere. Right, they got some... this steak oh. solid. Look at that. He's got his steak. Look, the New York <laughs> strip was on special. How much was it? Quick enough that we won't Five, Five bucks? bucks? You can't do it. That's at city prices up there, like huh? You can't beat it. No, that's Otter Tail <sighs> special right there. Oh, the old Otter Tail special. Oh, yeah. 
This man's got an avocado too. Bro, I just yeah, we hit a bunch of random. This is like a avocado. Dude, you could really hurt someone dude, with this. Yeah, everything is just rock solid now. I feel like Chris and Peric were like gonna go super hard making like a really cool ice camping meal, and then we just had like Jack's pizza. It's like yeah, we like half assed. Yeah, but like that's a us thing, you know. That is a us thing. Like yeah. Jack's and pizza rolls. How did they even see that? Uh, well, guys, this yeah, has pretty much been the happened, only good thing. Yeah, of uh, the night so far. The bite's been really slow. AP just got back with Chris. You guys caught like eight eight fish or so um, out on center. So they, they did a little better than us, but we definitely stayed warmer. So that's a plus, but we just had a beer delivery from our buddy Jake. So huge shout out to you if you're watching this video. Yeah, I don't know. The boys I think are just gonna kind of shack up in here for a while and just see what happens. It might, it might get kind of weird, but you know, that's I'm fine with that. Dang, as boy! As soon as Parrick shows up, the active one. No, nah, as soon as the bush showed up too, though. What's the camera? Yeah, it's going. It's on. Oh, it's going. nice. There's no one. Oh, hey, hey, no, run no, this, run this, run this. Hey, hey. Cameraman, old cameraman. All right, I'm releasing this one. Yeah, just dump it. All right, Parrick just hooked up. Now the line alarm's going off. Oh, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, bro? I don't know, dude. <laughs> what was that, bro? That, that I wasn't feeling it on that. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming in schools. Oh wait, I, re I released my real life. <laughs> well, that's funny. As soon as we get in here, Parrick and Chris sit down, and then an active fish shows up. Parrick got him to bite on the old royal flush. Like oh, yeah. that? That's yeah. funny. That's what I've been using for like everything. Like you can pretty much use it for anything. I mean, a true grit or like a smoke show, maybe a better walleye rod, but like an all-around Swiss Army knife. I like that rod. Oh, for sure. I think the only thing you're gonna run into issues is if you get like a 25 plus. That's really. Well, I I landed a 28 and a half this year with it. It was it like just... 10 pounds plus with that. So. Okay, so yeah. it just throws that out the window. Yeah. <laughs> just stop. It's great, yeah. It's a great rod. It's but, a great rod. Yeah, I mean we're just hanging out, drinking some beers, hanging out, and hopefully some more fish catches come here. Is that a mark? Chris? Oh yeah, we got. Someone was coming. just asking me that the other day. He's hey, like, should hey, I get a name? Hey, film this. Video? Film this. Is there, a, is there a minnow? You have no minnow on that. Well, somebody, you didn't put he's a on a minnow. That there, fish that, is that, on a that minnow. Stick, it's right there. It's probably that, or that, uh, right, well, where's the minnows? Minnow, 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 <laughs> yeah. minnow. Hold on, hold on. He might be looking at, there, yeah. That's a minnow. Well, we need a new minnow on this one. Oh, you're just handing no, watch it the there? Look at the rattle. He said, watch me handline this. I think, okay. Is that the rattle reel? That's on yeah, the I think it, I think it oh, is. Oh, he's on my tungsten. Listen to See, this. look at, there's the minnow. It's swimming around. Yeah. It is, it's this, it's this rattle reel. Yep, yep. Oh, he's on that rattle. Is he? Shut the hook! Do you want to grab this, John? Are you hooked? Oh, oh no, why don't you catch it? I'm jigging, I'm jigging. When you're jigging, it's moving my line, Loki. No, that's a heat. <laughs> I think you're hooked up. I think he's got it. I was gonna say, is, like, <laughs> is you on, bud? That fish was just running in the circle. Oh, it, what? Dude! Oh, it's a oh. good one! Hey, Pop the yo. hook, too. Alright, well, that was a hectic few minutes. Another probably 16 inch fish, about the same size as Perix. Not too bad though. The bite's on, the bite is on. The video interaction. Oh, we got a <laughs> yeah. fish coming in. Oh, oh she's coming in. Somebody, Somebody jig at it. Somebody jig at it. What is that on the right? Who's that's is you. That? Oh, no, he just went not. under you. Oh, what <laughs> the is that? Oh, it's hard. Hit him. Ooh, that might be like a 17, 18. Hit him, Perix. Perix. Oh, he sees it. Oh, Jig up. Oh. Oh! oh! He's so 
still there. Get him, get him. Did you sting him? Oh, yeah. Is he mad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got the middle. That Dang. fish meant business. What's Chris, Chris, what are you about to do? The special New York strip is getting wait. cooked. Okay, so we had pizzas going, as you guys saw, but Chris got all this bougie stuff. If I want to be adventurous, hey, I'm going to go out and get that pot and make some rice, stuff. but we got to move some stuff. Okay. It kind of looks like a mission right now, okay. especially when it's negative 300 outside. You can make rice in that. I, I think you just go hard, and I'll just film it, and we'll see how it ends up. Cut that pizza up, bud. I'm just taking this little piece here. Oh. oh, whoa, what happened there, guys? <laughs> Hang on, something's missing in this shot. Who is in charge of this? Oh. All right. Oh, this window's open. That's why it's cold right there. Scale one to ten. Two point eight. <laughs> <laughs> we worked hard for that though. Hey, Dave would be proud. Minnesota DNR, open up. What kind All right, of Chris steak? decided to make a nice New York strip steak for five dollars. So this isn't just an, this is an A5 cut of Wagyu. Oh. We season it with some truffle salt and some white pepper source from Argentina, and we're gonna cut into this. It should be a perfect medium. That is rare. not Wagyu, is it actually? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious how this is going to I'm going to eat it no matter what. Oh, it's going to yeah. be better than the JR's frozen pizza. Ah, it looks pretty awful, but we're going to eat it anyway. If you guys can't tell, this video turned pretty greasy there. pretty quick. As soon as Chris and Perrick showed up, it got very greasy. Wait, taste test? Wow, it tastes like lemon pepper. Is it good? Oh, it's way better than, oh my God, this is way too much. It's just really salty. It's so, it's like, it's not good. Whew. Well guys, current time check. Uh, let me see what time it is. It is 11.30 at night and the homies just left. They went to go say hi to Fish and More, uh, Murray, if you guys don't know who he is. And uh, I am just like way too tired. I was like, you know what? You guys go do your thing. I'm gonna go here and pass out. So that's kind of the plan right now. They're laid left and um, I'm gonna be sleeping probably when they get back. But yeah, no, tonight was, I had a lot of fun. You know, it wasn't the most like fish catching happening, but it was cool, you know, just hanging out with the guys and making some steaks and then making some pizzas. And yeah, overall, not too bad. Sorry, um, I wish there was more fish catches, but who knows? Maybe tonight when we have the rattle reels down, some fish will start biting. So that would be kind of cool. But I'm going to tucker in this bed right here. And uh, I'm just going to try to get some sleep. And then I'll see you guys probably tomorrow morning. But um, it ends up Perrick and Chris are also going to stay in here. So they're going to be doubled up right there. So this is a four-person shack. We're going to try sleeping five guys in it. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. Perrick was going to set his shack up right next to us in ice camp right there. But that's just not happening anymore because it's so gosh darn cold out. I'm tired though. I'm going to get some sleep. And I'll plan on seeing you guys tomorrow morning. The next morning. Did you have fun last night, bud? Is the night over? Well, yeah. Yeah, it is. You missed a couple amazing catches. We had one at 3 a.m. I know. We had one at 3 a.m., we had one at 5 a.m., and then we just had one now. And you caught them both? The 3 a.m., 5 a.m. one, yeah. Dang. And then that one I kind of caught too, and still want to take it off the hook. Yeah. Oh, look at this old baby right here. Carrick had to flex on us with that. Chris, do you love Red Lake? Oh, I love Red Lake, and it loves us. Well, everybody, it's the next morning. Uh, I'm sorry how, like, all over this video was it was just like it just seemed like it was just all over to me but um yeah basically 
when I last talked to you guys, we went to bed and we set some rattle reels down. The boys got back from Murray's shack. Murray, I'm sorry I didn't go over there and see you. Uh, there was no more room physically, so I couldn't come. But um, yeah, they got back, set some rattle reels and stuff. And then they caught three fish during the night and I was passed out. So there was no way I was filming any of that. So definitely this night or yesterday of fishing was better than the previous night. Um, it got a little bit warmer so that maybe has something to do with it. But if you guys are looking to rent something at Red Lake as in a ice castle, like all different sizes, make sure to check out First City Guide Service. Huge shout out to Chad for being the man. But we're actually unfortunately gonna start packing up and uh, I'm actually going back to Fargo right now with all the boys and we have to work the frostbite booth at the Fargo Ice Show. So I don't know when this video is going up, but if you guys see this and you see me at the ice show, howdy, how's it going? Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We got a bunch of ice fishing content coming your guys' way this fall uh, or winter, I should say. And you don't wanna miss out on any of it, okay? Cause we're gonna be doing some more funny stuff like this. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you guys on the next one.